What's up guys, Shane Stars here, and the OnePlus 11 is definitely the best phone that OnePlus has put out in quite a while. In fact, I think it's safe to say that OnePlus is back. The OnePlus 11 is full of all the flagship features that you'll need. In fact, OnePlus isn't doing a pro version this year because the OnePlus 11 5G is the pro version. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the top five things that I love about the OnePlus 11 5G after having used it for about 60 days. Let's go ahead and get started. This video is sponsored by Ecago. I enjoy ceramic mugs just as much as the next guy. There's only one issue with traditional coffee mugs, and that's the fact that they don't hold temperature for very long. I prefer my coffee to be hot, and as soon as it begins to drop in temperature, it becomes virtually undrinkable. So for me, that means I have to guzzle the coffee the moment it's brewed, or visit the microwave every five minutes. What if there was an affordable option for keeping your coffee warm in your favorite mug? That's exactly what the Ecago Smart Mug Warmer is for. The Ecago Mug Warmer is the first infrared temperature measurement mug warmer which can monitor the temperature of the beverage in the cup in real time. You can get the temperature you're looking for down to one degree up to 175 degrees Fahrenheit. Also really like the very easy to read LCD screen. This gives you the coffee's current temperature plus a status bar letting you know whether the coffee is warming up or cooling down or the perfect temperature and then it gives you the temperature that you have set. This is also very easy to control with a minus and plus button to set the perfect temperature and with features like auto shutdown and safety lock not only is it safe but it is also more efficient than other warmers. If you're looking for an affordable way to keep your coffee warm the Ecago smart mug warmer is definitely a great option. I'll be sure to include links in the description of where you can pick yours up today. The first thing that really stood out about the OnePlus 11 was the insane battery life. I was able to get through my entire day, just about every day, with 50 to 60% battery life left. This meant I was also able to get six to nine hours of screen on time. That's with heavy usage like watching YouTube and Netflix videos, doing some light video gaming, and even using my GPS for navigation. The large 5,000 milliamp hour battery paired with optimizations in the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor with the more efficient always on display, all of these factors really increase battery life on this phone to epic levels. If you are somehow able to totally drain the battery, this also comes with the fastest charge speeds that I've ever seen on a smartphone. So you do get 80 watt Super VOOC fast charging. You're able to charge from zero to 100% in under half an hour. And I just love to plug this up and watch the charging animation. You can see the battery levels rising in just seconds after you plug it in. I think that's pretty cool. And I really wish that other Android smartphones on the market and even Apple's iPhone would adopt this faster Super VOOC charging. If there was any letdown whatsoever here, it would be with the lack of wireless charging, but that's something I can live with considering that we do have the Super VOOC fast charging. Performance was another major standout feature, and for me, OnePlus phones have always been among the fastest. The OnePlus 11 is no different. Opening applications and launching heavy games was super fast for this phone. Video gaming and other high performance tasks were buttery smooth on the OnePlus 11. Aside from standard performance, the OnePlus 11 is an absolute multitasking powerhouse. That's thanks to the up to 16 gigabytes of LPDDR5X RAM and UFS 4.0, which improves efficiency plus read write speeds. You're gonna be able to have up to 44 applications open at once and very easily be able to go back and forth between them. I didn't notice any of the applications that I used on a regular basis closing down and needing to start from scratch. That really makes the phone feel much smoother and faster. With OnePlus phones in the past, the camera has always been a bit of a pain point. It was always like this phone rocks except for the camera. The OnePlus 11 changes all that. This is definitely one of the top cameras that I've been able to test out this year. And I was able to get stunning, incredible photos, regardless of whether I was shooting in the daytime or the nighttime. The OnePlus 11 includes a 50 megapixel main shooter, a 48 megapixel ultra wide lens, and a 32 megapixel telephoto zoom lens with a two by optical zoom. Overall, photo shot and automatic mode were sharp. They were bright. And I really love the colors coming out of this camera. For the most part, colors coming out of this camera were mostly natural and slightly leaned saturated. But for me, I really love the photos 
coming out of this camera. I even tested out this camera in some indoor darker places like over at the National Museum of History in New York City and I was super impressed with the end results. I wasn't really expecting this quality of photo out of the OnePlus 11. One thing that I would have loved to have seen is more than two by optical zoom. That being said, I actually took a really good 10 by shot of the Statue of Liberty and to me, the quality, even on the zoom with a two by optical zoom lens was really, really good. Obviously this is not able to compete with the 10 by optical zoom on the Galaxy S23 Ultra, but I still had some pretty good zoomed in shots. The portrait mode was also a winner. This phone was definitely capable of giving very natural bokeh in the background while keeping the main subject in focus. Overall, I was very impressed with the camera on the OnePlus 11. The OnePlus 11 features a very stunning 6.7 inch 2K 120 hertz super fluid LTPO3 3.0 display. With the LTPO 3.0 technology, this can adapt the refresh rate from 1 hertz all the way up to 120 hertz depending on what you're currently doing. If you're reading an ebook, for instance, this will automatically drop to 1 hertz to 10 hertz. Or if you're doing more high intensity tasks like video gaming, this can automatically bump the refresh rate all the way up to 120 hertz for a super smooth experience. The display does get very bright. I'm able to use it outdoors, even in bright sunlight and the colors are punchy and saturated. Viewing content on this display is a great experience. I actually really like the design of the OnePlus 11. That's been kind of polarizing in the phone tech community. Some people love it while other people hate it. And I don't mind the P-shaped camera. I think it looks pretty decent. What I really like about this design is just how thin and light it feels. It's much slimmer than my Galaxy S23 Ultra, and it does have the sharp curves on both the front and the back. The taper edges definitely make the phone feel thinner and this is a much more manageable phone to hold. There are sharp edges on the bottom where my pinky rests that became uncomfortable at times and because of the large camera module up top the phone isn't perfectly balanced so um, I did almost drop it several times. But as far as the way the phone looks I actually love the way that the phone looks. With incredible battery life, ultimate charge speeds, and really great performance this phone is going to be hard to beat at the price point. You can actually pick up the base model for only $699 or the 256 gig version for only $799. There's also plenty of opportunities for discounts and things like that. And in my opinion, the OnePlus 11 is definitely the best value or the best bang for your buck when it comes to a flagship smartphone. That about wraps it up for this video. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.